I'd like to call the meeting to order if you would stand for a moment of silence followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Welcome everyone. Welcome everyone who's watching from home. Madam Clerk, call the roll. Trustee DeVore. Present. Trustee Kazam. Present. Trustee Gatt. Present. Trustee Reichert. Present. Trustee Wigginton. Present. Trustee Weisenberg. Present. Okay, good to see everyone. Next is the approval of the minutes from the Board of Trustees meeting October 15th, 2024. I'd ask for a motion to approve the minutes. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes. Any questions or corrections to the minutes? Hearing none, all those in favor of approving the minutes signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The ayes have it. We get comments from the audience. If anyone here tonight would like to address the board, please come forward to the podium, give your name and address, and try and keep your remarks under five minutes. Ms. Jay, welcome. <clears throat> Thank you, Jay Gruber, 3814 North Monroe, Peoria Heights, Illinois. I believe old business is considered on the agenda, is that correct? We'll give you some leeway, uh, but go go ahead, please. What are we? Okay. We prefer I, it on the agenda, but do you have something else? Go right ahead. Well, it's just old business. It was last meeting um, on the 15th of October, I believe. Anyway, it was the last October meeting. I believe that the decision was taken up around um, borrowing money to do the lead remediation from the state of Illinois. I just wanted to say, as a CPA and a person who helped people with the PPP, I think it was a great idea, and I wanted to affirm all the people who did the research and did the work on that. And um, that was the first thing. The second thing is I'm very excited still about the bicycle plan and the street plan back there, and um, I can't wait to hear when we have baby steps going that way. Thanks. Thank you. So I, I hope you know that um, lead is an important topic. We have addressed that with the Healthy Homes Grant, both abatement of lead paint issues, but also lead service lines is another big priority. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Comments from the audience? Going once, twice. Comments from the audience are closed. We are old business. Any old business coming for the board? Trustee Weisenberg. I have a few items. Uh, we had placed a new stop sign at the intersection of um, Glen Elm and Best, I believe it was, and that's working pretty well. Um, and one of the other items that we had discussed is um, prohibiting on-street parking at that corner. I, we have it, I think, on one side. Correct. Um, and this weekend it was pretty crowded um, with on-street parking, and I wondered if we could possibly stripe off more of that, especially around that curve. Um, a lot of times uh, when families are walking with strollers and stuff like that, and you have cars blaring through there, and there's cars parked on both sides, it, it's, it's a hazard. You're suggesting striping and no parking, or just striping? Uh, just no parking. Uh, well. Chief, I'll let you go, you, you go ahead first. We, 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 that had been brought to our attention. We, we discussed doing some phases. So what we'll okay. do after we have the sign in, we'll, we'll circle back around and then look at the second phase. So we'll, okay. we'll do that shortly. Okay, thank you. Yep. And uh, Trustee Weisberg, it'd be, give me a little bit of comfort if you'd ask the residents, just a, an informal petition asking okay. for that. It'd be helpful. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. you had, did you have another item you said? No. Any no, other no. old business? All right, let's get right into new business. The first is administration and finance, a resolution 2024-16, a resolution of the Village of Peoria Heights approving the lease of a garage space at 3838 North Boulevard Avenue from Richwoods Township. Trustee DeVore asked for a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Go ahead, Trustee DeVore. So we have had a very long lease with Richwoods Township and they've been great tenants. So this is just extending that lease, but just at a shorter time frame, so that we can revisit it. So the lease will stay the same as what we've had it. It will just be a 10 year lease instead of um, 
50. Instead of 50. <laughs> right. Yeah, so this is just a little shorter. There is an op opportunity for them to extend on that, but they've been good tenants, and I see no reason why we shouldn't move forward with accepting the, this lease agreement. Discussion? Uh, just a little bit of history because I'm much older than Trustee DeVore. Um, <laughs> when this building was built, and it was, again, it was Bill Rutherford's idea to design this building and locate it here, and he was a big part of that. Um, the township contributed $50,000, I believe, towards the building of this building with the understanding both the village and the township moved from Cyberling to here, so uh, that occurred. And then also we have a relationship with them using the public works garage, which is really the property of the township, so it's worked out well, I think, for all involved. Um, Mr. Mayor, I, as the, I will be abstaining from this vote um, as the Richwoods clerk, so I will not be voting. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Madam Clerk, call the roll. Trustee DeVore? Aye. Trustee Gett? Aye. Trustee Kazam? Aye. Trustee Reichert? Aye. Trustee Weisenberg? Aye. That passes with one abstention. Trustee DeVore, anything else under administration and finance? Um, not today, Mayor. Nothing, Mayor. All right. Let's get right into community and economic development. We have one resolution, Ordinance 2024-1743, an ordinance approving and authorizing the execution of a business development district number one redevelopment agreement by and between the Village of Peoria Heights, Illinois, and Joseph Fritch doing business as GM Prospect General Partnership 4542 North Prospect Road. Trustee Kazam would ask for a motion to approve. I make a motion to approve. Second. Second. Okay, please go ahead. So this is, as the mayor said, the property at 4542 North Prospect, which we know as the Cayenne um, was a previous tenant of that property. Um, there is going to be a new tenant coming to that location, which is exciting, and the owner is doing um, improvements on the property, including, I believe there's a window there that's currently boarded up and that will be replaced with a new thermal paned window and other improvements, potentially the awning as well, right? Mr. Fritch is here in the audience, audience if anyone has any questions for him. But the request is for $6,693, and um, I think it's a great improvement for our community. Also, it, it really continues with this idea of the walkability of our community, where you can look in windows and you're going from block to block, and there's something going on in the different stores and vendors. Thank you. Good Sir, is question. there anything you'd like to say? Nothing to say. Okay. Is this going to be a sales tax uh, generating business? Yes, it's a restaurant. restaurant. Okay. Good question. Anyone else? Uh, just for those of you in the audience who may not know, the business development district is a geographic area where we impose an additional 1% sales tax that the village uses to invest back in the, that business community, which we're doing now. So thank you, Trustee Kazam. You're welcome. Madam Clerk, call the roll. Trustee DeVore? Aye. Trustee Gett? Aye. Trustee Kazam? Aye. Trustee Riker? Aye. Trustee Wigginton? Aye. Trustee Weisenberg? Aye. All right, that passes. Trustee Kazam, anything else? Nothing for me, Mayor. Okay, we'd be at Public Works. Approval for payment in the amount of two. $229,375 to R.E. Pedrati for water treatment and distribution control upgrade. Trustee Riker, I ask for a motion to approve. I make a motion to approve. Second. Okay, back to you, Trustee Riker. Okay, I'm going to send this over to Superintendent Chandler. Yeah, sure. So this is our, if you guys remember last year, we did some computer upgrades because we were way out of date with the controls of our pumps and water towers. And this is like the next step of that continuation, getting the each well and our low level treatment facility all completely upgraded with new controllers and everything. Um, and these, this is the company that started that. They got us out of a jam before and um, their timing on this is gonna be really good for us. We're basically at a spot where we could lose this thing and start having to run it 24 hours a day at any time, which we've had to do about three times already for multiple days. Um, but yeah, that's basically, it just controls our water pumps and keeps us in water. Discussion? 
And are, are the water controls exposed to the internet? They are through a team viewer and it's a, this will be, this will help with the security of the system as well. Okay. It will be updating that as well. Right. It's like a two factor system. Right. Okay. I, and I will add to that, that we don't, you can't control any chemical feed or anything with the way we have it set up. You can okay. simply turn pumps on or turn them off that kind of thing. We're not, we're not able to, you have to be on site to change okay. a chemical Good. feed or anything like that. Great. Uh, Supervisor Chandler, this, um, we have a relationship, obviously, they got us out of the jam, like you said previously, this went out to bid or we just know this? Um, kind of, uh, yeah, somewhat, it's, uh, we're kind of in a jam and, and they've already started the process, so, <laughs> Looking around, anybody else, it was going to take at least six months to get this done. And, and these guys are going to be able to do it because they've already initiated this. Like, and like you We're said, we've worked with them before. We've been happy with their progress. Absolutely, um, yeah. Um, Woodard and Kern helped select them, correct? Uh, they were, I, yeah, I, they were involved, yeah. Does the price seem reasonable for the work? Um, uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Council. I just... Um, Following up on that very point, I was going to speak up. I would like someone to make a motion to approve this without bidding. We, we have the authority to do that, but I would like to be on top of that and have that reflected in the minutes that somebody moved to approve awarding this contract without going through the formal bid process, given the size. I understand the being in the bind, but is this price... It is very reasonable, is yes, it? yes. Okay. And I think the important term, correct me if I'm wrong, Council, but since we have this relationship, this previously good working relationship with That's this right. contractor, we've been happy with That's the right. progress, um, the bidding is not necessarily required. It, it is not. We do have authority. It, it takes two-thirds vote. Um, prior relationship is one grounds. Um, timing, you know, ability to execute in a... Um, you know, somewhat of an emergency situation. I don't want to call, call this an emergency, but... This you know, is a professional service. Yeah, and, and, and it is professional services, but it is equipment as well. But I, I would just feel more comfortable if somebody made the motion. I'll entertain that motion. I'll make it. Um, we're so going to make that as an amendment to the... An main, amendment yeah. to approve without bids. So I'm asking for an amendment to the main motion then? i make the motion. Second. Okay, so the motion is to use this professional firm without going out for bids. Is that all right, Council? Yes. All right, it's been moved and seconded. Now, discussion on the amendment only. I'll just state I'm not sure I'm real comfortable with this, but um, whatever the board chooses. Yeah, and I'm not totally comfortable with it either, but the timing and the, the previous relationship. I will say that. some ease. I, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, you're fine. I think one of the reasons it's, the cost is a little more effective is because they've already started the process. Anybody else is gonna start from scratch. So they've already, we've already paid to have some of this done. Anybody else is gonna start completely over. And probably yeah, that, that's not my yes. concern. My concern's yeah. a level playing field. <laughs> Well, and all those questions were asked of council prior to bringing this to you tonight because I had the same concerns. I wanted to make sure that everything was above board and given the timeline that Superintendent Chandler mentioned, that's why. But the, all those questions were asked of council before we brought this to you. But I understand your concerns, and, and I'm, I'm good either way. But um, I, I do think if we, if we don't, there is going to be a, a definite delay. But uh, I'll support whatever the board decides. Are there any local companies that do this work? Yeah, I'm not sure. There, there might be, there might be a place around here that does it. Yeah. Well, we still have the motion on the floor, but a motion to defer is always in order. So. Well, I mean, just to for educational purposes, if we were to put this out to bid, what would the time? Oh, we'd be, was? we'd be looking at, at least six months. Right. Well, well, I mean, it would be, probably two months to do the bid process, okay. and then another six months on top of that, mm -hmm. where these guys are. Because they're so far ahead of it, they're, we're talking six weeks here. That's not right. So it wouldn't, it's not advisable to postpone it. They're already there. 
We're not going to get, if you get another company in there, he's got to start from scratch, taking a chance of having to pay more, and these guys are already familiar with it. Well, you're spending $229,000 of public money and not giving everyone an opportunity to bid on it. That's I'm just well, a little bit confused that, because you, you're saying they're already working on it. So they've already, no. we've already employed them. We've already, like. They've already started they've already the started. initial process, not okay. of this, but okay. they've started the upgrade. So this would be like a the, phase two, but they Right, okay. yeah. Um, Supervisor Chandler, because they've worked with us previously, it sounds like they are, you know, as far as our contractor for us, they they meet all the characteristics that we would require as far as fair. Oh yeah, uh, okay. absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. What have they done for us prior? So, I don't know if you guys remember, but we have uh, our main computer is over in the Centennial Building. Absolutely. Yes, and and it was running on when uh, Windows XP. So our whole water system was running on Windows XP. And they, with their assistance, we figured out and got a way to control our old PLC system with a new computer. So they finally got that working. But there's also still just a phone line that goes, single phone line that goes through the ground that does all the communications for everything. And AT&T or the phone company, I think AT&T, who owns the lines, are going to stop servicing that line at any time. They could come and say, hey, uh, we're not going to use this line anymore. Six months. You're done. you got to figure it out. Because it's such an old line, they're not going to take care of those lines anymore. So this is a way for us to get out of that. And they started that process with the main computer. Okay, so I'm just yeah, no going to ask you to make sure I'm understanding. So they came in, they helped us run the system by upgrading the computer. Right. They know how our system works and all of that. Now what they're recommending is that we actually upgrade the whole the whole blue machine that's there. Right, yeah. Each well and, and the low level has its own PLC. Okay. But the ones that are there are, you know, 15, 18 years old, maybe even older. Okay, so Though each one of those needs to be upgraded. And this cost is each one of those? No, no, no. That's for everything. That's for all of them. Okay, that's what I mean. So yeah, everything yeah. will be upgraded at yes. this cost? Yes. Yep. Each site will be independent of the others, where right now, if one goes down, we might lose three. Okay. So while you're saying that this cost is fairly cost effective, could you give us a roundabout estimate what you think it would be going with another company? I would say upwards of over 500000 when you went out for bid for that original project, how, I mean, we went out for bid for it, I assume, right? The and first project? Yes. Uh, no, because it was like a time, basically, they just helped us figure it out. They didn't give us a bid and say it's going to be $30,000 so or something like that. to see if they were comparable to other companies even then, so we're kind of... Right. Once again, it was an emergency situation, so that the, whole the, deal. The previous service was just a service, like a billable service. They right, came yeah. out to help. Yeah, which, I, which this is, too, other than there is some equipment involved. Okay. So how, do you know how much of it? Does it say how much of this is equipment and how much I, is it? I, I do not know. I'm not sure. Uh, Supervisor Chandler, I know we had a conversation, I think, about this at IML. Right, was this, yeah. was this mm -hmm. kind of on the horizon? Um, right. And we were talking with the Woodard and Kern Correct. Uh, people about it. Um, so that's what this is replacing, the right. communication with this control yes. system. Yep. Okay. Is this budgeted for? Or I, um, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. So we had a planned on spending, I think, four hundred some thousand on lead lines okay. mm -hmm. this year, but since that plan, as far as the EPA and everything, didn't work out, we had that money available because we're, we're not doing that until okay. next budget. So, it, so it's not going to take a big chunk out of general. No, it's fire actually under what we estimated. No, okay. yeah, it'll come out of water. Yeah, yeah. It comes yeah. out of water. Yeah. Yeah. It comes out of the water account. Yeah. All right, right now we're on the amendment. So let's, anyone else on the amendment? All right, Madam Clerk, read the amendment back, please. All right, this is on the amendment to the motion to approve the purchase without bids. Trustee DeVore? Aye. Trustee Gatt? Aye. Trustee Kazam? Aye. 
Trustee Reichert? Aye. Trustee Wigginton? Aye. Trustee Weisenberg? Aye. All right, that passes. Back to the main motion as amendment. amended. Any further discussion? Hearing none, Madam Clerk, call the roll. Trustee DeVore? Aye. Trustee Gatt? Aye. Trustee Kazam? Aye. Trustee Reichert? Aye. Trustee Wigginton? Aye. Trustee Weisenberg? Aye. All right, that passes. Trustee Reichert, anything else under Public uh, Works? I don't think so, Superintendent Chandler. No, I can just mention that we did some minor upgrades to Wiley Haynes Park up here at Park and Euclid. Got all new mulch, um, repainted the merry-go-round and the swing set, so everything kind of matches up there. I know it's almost winter, but we're going to get some grass growing there next year, and it's going to be a lot better. Do you have your salt stocked? What's that? Salt stocked for the road. We do have salt stocked, <laughs> yes. I have a question about that, and then I want to make a comment about water, but um, can we paint the garbage cans along Prospect for next spring? Yeah, I'm sure we can. Okay. Yeah. They're kind just of like want them repainted black. Yeah, just the same color. Yeah, they we just can, look a little bit yeah, like we can up yeah, yeah we okay. can we can get those done. Okay. Yeah. Um, this water issue, um, being in the situation where we have to make decisions and we are under the gun for time and we don't, you know can't go out for a bit and that type of thing is exactly why we need to prioritize in my opinion, and we all agree with this, this Woodard and Kern and addressing the water situation in the village of Peoria Heights. So to be in this situation is something that obviously has been neglected for a long, long time. Right, and last year was the beginning of this upgrade, mm -hmm. started last year, so. Okay, um, Chris, are you finished with public I, works? I am, thank you. Okay, we bit miscellaneous business. Any miscellaneous to come for the board? All right, hearing none, we would be at general comments from the audience. If anyone is here tonight to make any sort of general comment to the audience, please come forward to the podium, give your name and address, and try and keep your remarks under five minutes. Any general comments? Yes. I would just like to know how much the contract that they already fulfilled was of public resources. Was it 30 grand? How, how much did they already helpfully benefit the village and how much did they already get paid without a bid as well? Thank you. All right. uh, good question. That, there was no bid. It was, like I said, it was an hourly situation. I'm not sure exactly what we've spent on it so far. Would have to look, look for those numbers. Could we get that information? I, I believe we could get it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely, we can get it for sure. Thank you. <laughs> Trying to report back to the next meeting. Thank you. We're still at comments from the audience. My name is JT Kellogg, 4925 Grandview Drive. I just have a general question, and it may have been addressed in previous meetings about the changeover to the new um, trash company. Who's, who, who manages that relationship? I, I manage that relationship with GFL, who, who purchased G&O. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Okay, because like, I mean, they didn't show up for yard waste. Like, I've never seen that in 14 years. I was just curious. Well, not only you, JT, we've had that throughout the, throughout the community, and, and I will say it's been an all-hands-on-deck here at Village Hall addressing it. I know that I've had numerous contacts with their administration. Uh, I know they've had some personnel issues. Some of it's been uh, routes, you know, getting familiar with the routes, but we have had a lot of issues, and uh, it's more than just, you know, your yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sure, yeah. So we're trying to work through them. They understand our displeasure with them. Um, they probably hear from us uh, daily, if not every other day. So I urge if you have, if still have issues, please let us know. You can call directly. The number is on our website. But if okay. you'd like us to facilitate it, feel free to call us. We will do as well. Do that as well. But it has been a, it has been a nightmare. We, we expected a few bumps in a road right. when they took over, but it's been... It's been unbelievable. It really right. has. So it, we're, we're working towards that. So hopefully those are starting to thin out on the complaint side. But if you do have issues, you can use the portal online or you can call us and either myself or staff here will reach yeah. out to them and we have good contacts. Thank you. So, yep. Can I have a follow-up question on that? Yes. Um, if the issues continue and, you know, just the service is atrocious, uh, what recourses do we have? Because I know when they came before us, one of the questions I had was, um, you know, they were assuming the contract. Um, and can we prematurely put it out to bid? Like if we, like if it was, if they weren't fulfilling the contract, um, 
what what recourses do the village have? I don't think many, and I'll refer to council on this, but since they did buy that contract out, I think our next move is when the contract ends, we will go out for bid, obviously. Right, right. Um, we know there's a couple players, and we'll see how that plays out, but, but as far as doing that mid-contract, I don't think, council, if we have many options. Uh, um, I believe we can terminate the contract for failure to provide the required service. We would have to give them notice. Um, I think they're on notice yeah. that we have complaints. Right. Um, we could ratchet that up and make it formal notice, i.e. from me, um, outlining, and uh, if they don't attend to it, then I think we would have the right to terminate the contract, but my, my, we got to have the a options? backup in my, place. My, my, that's my next question. There's only one other option. So then there's only one other option, and, I, and that, that worries me as far as cost or even performance. Correct. So if we make that move in the performance is worse. So I, I think I have a lot of concerns about that, I, but I do, I share that concern as far as, you know, being painted in a corner on this, we really don't have a lot of options. And plus we were very spoiled with GNO, had a great service and we right. knew this was coming. We just didn't think it'd come in this <laughs> droves as it is. But I think that, uh, I, they are on notice, so and they and they they've been they've been put on notice weekly. So, but I, I think if we do make that move, we've got to make sure we have a plan B. Have we ever done a cost analysis on what it would cost us to provide the garbage service? Oh, wow. Verse, oh, verse, be huge. Verse. I, I'm just I'm just curious. I don't know if it's ever been done. And I, it may be more expensive. It, it's been done in Beacon, and I've heard bad things about it from people who live there now. Uh, the, they might say, the people who are running the company might say everything's going smoothly, but right. like I said, I work with some people who live in Pekin and they're not too thrilled with them since then. Yeah, I, know. I mean, it's something we could take a quick look at, but there's tipping fees at the landfill. There's all sorts right. of things in, involved other than... And I'm not necessarily looking at now, but when we had GNO and GFL here and we talked about the cost of the GNO service, GFL said we were getting a hell of a deal. Mm -hmm. That tells me next contract renewal, we're going to see a significant well, if, increase. If, if you remember, when that bid process went out, we saved $60,000 between the two. So it was a, right. it is a well, great deal. But And, and the county, you know. so I, I spoke with uh, our representative on the county board, uh, Danny Phelan, and he told me that they had just negotiated for unincorporated <laughs> areas in the county. Their monthly rate is $40 a month. That was the de deal negotiated. So our deal is twenty dollars right. a month. Right. So okay. on the horizon, that right. is a bear. Mm -hmm. Well, I, th I think one of the things that's, that's occurred, um, GNO not only met the contract, they exceeded it. They exceeded right. expectations, and the level of service was fantastic, including Gary Manis getting in the truck and coming over and taking care of something. <laughs> <Right>. um, <laughs> And I, I agree with the trustee Weisenberg. We're trying to remedy these complaints through the administrator without getting counsel involved. We may have to, um, but and it really frustrates me. But the, the thing is, I think the only other company out there that would bid on this is Waste Management. And if you look at their contracts, they're probably way more expensive right. than what we're paying now. So it's not a good answer. Um, it's not a good answer at all. But um, counsel to. I don't, I don't, in my opinion, they're, they're not violating the contract, are they? It's just, I mean, it's such a gray area. Yeah, I mean, it, it's got to be pretty egregious for them to um, be in default. But again, you know, even if that gives rise to our right to terminate the contract, we got to have something else in place. Well, what would that litigation look like? If <laughs> Well, it wouldn't be pretty. Yeah. And it'd be expensive, wouldn't it? It would, certainly. <laughs> and I prefer the private market. Um, Option, I, you know, I prefer GFL or GNO, or you know, I don't necessarily think the village should be doing its own garbage service. I just worry that you know they do kind of got us in a bind. Absolutely, um, but, uh, I will continue to meet with them as I have their administrative staff and work through this. So hopefully, as we move forward, they start to thin out. And it, it has in the last couple of weeks, but we still have a lot of issues. But I'll continue to meet with them and get through this, and I'll update next meeting what kind of where we're at. And hopefully, I'm, we're urging everybody to reach out if you have issues, reach out so we know. So, right. and we're kind of in a weird spot too because you know they are a private entity, yeah. but we kind of do their billing. You know, we collect their their money that they charge for their yeah. service and yeah. just basically hand it over yeah. to them. And that's all negotiable, and I'm sure in the next contract. Right. That, but that's going to be more expensive, I suppose, if you have them do the billing and not us. But, right. but you have to evaluate that when the time comes. Right. right. Maybe we could get 
I mean, right now all we got or an option is tell them we're going to terminate the contract. But maybe we could also put in the next contract with whoever it is that if they're messing up and not keep it, they could be fined. Not so much terminate, but maybe there be some fines for them not doing the job as well as they should. Well, you can't. I don't, know if, I don't know if you can work that in there or not, or if they agree to it. <laughs> <laughs> I can try. <laughs> the worst could happen is they say no. So that's right. Anyone else? Okay, we're still at, I believe, general comments from the audience. So, any other comments? Being a member of the business community, I offer that I have read about GFL um, having an extraordinary reach nationally, and um, there are indications that there are other places that it doesn't go great. Um, doesn't mean that's here. I just would offer that um, we want to make sure that we do have another option when the contract does come up. And the other thing that comes to mind is, um, did the GNO folk, they, they were folded in? What kind of ownership did they have? Like, was it locally owned when it was GNO? Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. Local, yes. Okay. You're at disposal. Elmwood. Okay. Uh, I just would offer that the, um, tends to be what works in communities to have a long-term relationship with um, local ownership. So as a goal, that might be an option. And I'm glad that they do have some responsiveness. And I don't know, comparing waste management, you're right, you know, it's kind of interesting. They're both super huge. Thank you for being in the conversation and doing the research. That's what we're hoping can be done. Thank you very much. Anyone else? Comments going once, twice. Comments from the audience are closed. We'd be at payment of the bills. I'd ask for a motion to pay the bills. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded to pay the bills. Any discussion on the motion or question on any of the bills? Hearing none, Madam Clerk, call the roll. Trustee DeVore? Aye. Trustee Gatt? Aye. Trustee Kazam? Aye. Trustee Reichert? Aye. Trustee Wigginton? Aye. Trustee Weisenberg? Aye. That passes. The bills are paid. Next is the treasurer's report, Madam Clerk. As of the end of October, in the village controlled accounts, there was ten million four hundred and ninety-six thousand three hundred and sixty-eight dollars and ninety-one cents. In the water controlled accounts, there was two million three hundred twenty-six thousand seven hundred twenty-one dollars and forty-eight cents. You have heard the treasurer's report. What's your pleasure? I ask for a motion to approve. So moved. Second. All right. Been moved and seconded to adopt the treasurer's report. Any questions on the report or discussion on the motion? Madam Clerk, call the roll. Trustee DeVore? Aye. Trustee Gatt? Aye. Trustee Kazam? Aye. Trustee Reichert? Aye. Trustee Wigginton? Aye. Trustee Weisenberg? Aye. That passes. The treasurer's report is adopted. Trustee Gatt? Make a motion to adjourn. Second. Been moved and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Guys have a